Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's, Hacking the Nintendo Wii Part 25, Adding Sega Saturn Games. Now before we get started, I do want to warn you that most Saturn games don't work well, or work at all, so, you know, use at your own discretion. I personally am not going to be playing any Saturn games on the Wii, but uh, if you want to try it out, you're more than welcome to. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to this website that's in the description below and click on this green download button. Once it's downloaded, save it, open your folder, and you're going to want to extract it, of course. And you're going to have these two folders and your WAD channel. So your apps folder, your, your, your Yaboos, or however you pronounce it folder. Then you want to put your SD card in your computer that goes uh, into your Wii. And you just want to drag the contents of this apps folder into the apps folder on your SD card. So let's just do that. And then in the root of your SD card, you want to drag this folder over. And this is where your games go. You can delete this uh, this file here that tells you about the BIOS because your BIOS is already there as you can see. And some games work with the BIOS and some games don't. So when you get into the settings on your Wii, I'll show you uh, what that means. But anyways, just drag this folder over into the root, leave it there, and then you want to add your WADS file in as well. So WADS, channels, and then just drag and drop. Your games goes into the games folder. I already put games in here. These do not come with the download. You have to find games yourself. And you want to put them in the bin and queue format as seen here. So let's head over to the Wii. Back at the Wii, go into your homebrew channel, hit start. Go to your multi mod manager, load. Go into your iOS manager. Scroll down to 249 and hit the home button. Once that's loaded up, hit B to go back. Uh, go to your WAD manager, scroll down to WADs, channels, and find the WAD that we just put in here. There it is. Press A, it will load up. And once you're done all that, you can exit out of here and head back to your uh, Wii home menu. So once in here, let's find our channel, our Sega Saturn channel. There it is. So let's click on it and load it up. So once in here, you want to load your ISO slash Q. And you can choose with BIOS or without. in the settings and then uh, again just pick the game that you want here and I tried all these games none of them work whether you have the BIOS on or not so I'm just going to show you here loads up okay at first but uh, once you get past the initial you know, introduction screens it's just completely unplayable you can see it's already choppy really choppy here and when you actually try and start it it's just impossible that didn't work so let's try a different game load ISO 
slash q. Let's try uh, Mortal Kombat. Same thing, the first uh, couple screens load up okay, but you'll see once I get into it, it's just impossible to play. So again, you know, you guys can test this out with various Saturn games and maybe you'll get lucky and a couple will work, but uh, it didn't work for me. I'm not going to put Saturn games on my Wii, but in case you wanted to see how it works, here it is. That's really it. So thanks for watching.